Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Longo and we are Fanny and Jesse. So right about now we're going to do another reaction video but before we get into the reaction guys I want to say thank you for uh, giving us the opportunity to just react and them to train you guys and also you know at the same time you know just give you knowledge and whatnot. Anyway without any further ado today we're going to react to China CCP at war with Islam and Muslim. Yeah, so without any further ado, let's get it. Fear is a tool. But when that light hits the sky, it's not just a call. It's a warning. I'm vengeance. You see. Many events have happened in history that we look back at now and we realize we could have changed if things had been different. Isn't it very, very interesting that we are living in a time where such an event is happening now and it is happening to a people in a country like China whereby women are being raped, children are being separated from their families, organs are being harvested, people are being put into concentration camps. And did they think that we were just going to stand idly by? I want to tell the Chinese government and the Chinese Communist Party one thing. I want to tell you directly. You may be able to manipulate governments, but you cannot manipulate the millions of Muslims around the world. Did you think that you were going to have a minority group? in your country, persecute them in the way that you are persecuting them, deal with them in the way that you are dealing with them, and that we are not going to get involved? Do you think that if you start war, if you start a war with the Uyghurs, that you have not started a war with the Muslims? Please make us 
martyrs, you cannot teach us. We're the unbeatable enemy. You should actually learn from the Uyghurs. You should actually learn from them the purpose of life to worship one God. You should learn from them not to worship statues. And I tell you today that you may be taken off La ilaha illallah from the tops of the masjids and replacing it with your communist flag, the flag of your ideological masters. But taking it off the masjid does not mean taking it out of the heart of the believers. So I tell you once and again, it's only a matter of time. And you may want to start this Cold War with America, which you're starting now. Having the Muslims as your enemies is not a good idea. And history, as it had in the past, with the Persians and the Romans and the Mongols and all of these, history will tell this story again and you will be defeated. people because of what they believe in is not or has never been all right we sit here and say christianity was spread through um these missionaries that came while they're taking our land they're giving africans bibles islam was spread by the sword this and that was spread by this and that it that just doesn't make sense just because someone believes in something doesn't give other people the majority to um squeeze out their freedom if that makes sense there's something else i wanted to say um and this thing of um traveling to other places what we often comfort ourselves by by saying um of course we're going to an international place are going to love themselves over us that shouldn't be the case we should all have equal rights and just equal freedoms anyway if other people can enjoy this let me be able to enjoy that as well what do you think, though? Um, just same as as you just said, I don't know who these uh, the uh, the what Uyghurs. the Uyghurs are, but uh, from the uh, demeanor and the act of the person who was talking, it, it actually um, shows that maybe the people who who live in uh, in China. And probably they've been oppressed, or maybe they're being taken for granted just because you're you're Muslim or something like that. And then you 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 um so subdued or put into those concentration camps just because of your religion. I mean, first thing first, um, no one should try and force you into any religion or force you to stop you, stop you from practicing your religion. And no one should uh, be able to just articulate to you without your permission. That's really important. I mean, <clears throat> whatever China is doing, China is a country that it wants to feel itself to be more like a um, superior country. Uh, it, it has that ego and the pride is with them that we are the ones who control the world. But again, when you look at it clearly, 
uh, <laughs> trust me, um, if you go to your house today, 90% of the things that you use is made of China. Even the mic that that guy, that guy was using, even, even the mic that the guy was using was made from China, you understand? Even the cloth and all this kind of stuff, most probably. So, um, if we start a war today, most likely, we're going to end up losing. Do you understand? We're going to end up losing. We're going to, if, if, okay, let's say, for example, if China was put out of the face of this world, what's going to happen to humanity today? Of course, we're going to have, um, what do you call this? Um... A decrease of you know some some of the facilities and all these things that we're using but again we will survive at the end of the day but I'm not saying that China is a uh, I'm not trying to defend China I'm trying to say that we need to act accordingly just the way China um, um, did what like was able to manipulate all the the countries why can't we do the same why can't we try and uh, not manipulate in the wrong way, but in a good way and try to out outwit China or try to bring China down? Um, in this case, um, the Muslims are really at war with China or maybe China is at war with uh, Islam and Muslims. But I think fighting back is not... Uh, I mean, it's not a good advice. You can't fight such a country when you go there spiritually, you need to go there armed. You need to go there with very, very sophisticated uh, ammunition and all those kind of stuff. Those guys are just gonna, you know, wipe you out. You know how many? You know what I heard was like China has two million soldiers. China itself has can can wipe out the entire world if they want. Do you understand? But I understand the frustration and everything. Um, what we need to do, we just have to. There are different ways on how we can fight wars, but not by being aggressive. Uh, uh, sorry, but not just by being aggressive, but just going there and make sure that you stand by your, your word. And if you really want to fight, go ahead and fight. Do you understand? During, during back in those days, people used to, if, if those are beef, if those are fight, people used to go there physically. Let's fight, you understand? You bring your best weapon, let me bring my best weapon, let's go at war, you understand? But, um, in this case, um, uh, you know, when you go at war, there are people who are going to die and, uh, I mean, the, the, the less fortunate or maybe the people who are, who are less concerned and that's really not appropriate. The best thing is just to uh, fight it in the most, I want to say civilized manner, but that will sound, again, awkward. Let's just try to, I don't know, I don't know what we can do or what. But these guys were doing this at the Chinese embassy anyway. I'm not sure what country, if it's the UK or what. Yeah. But that's why embassies are there. So exactly. these guys are communicating the what? They're putting the grievances out there. Yeah, through the embassy. So, but it's, like not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not only Muslims, man. I mean, China have done so much. I mean, they've done so bad things to a yeah, lot that's of what people I'm out saying. there. So, so for someone to sit and to say it's just against the Muslims or Islam, I think it's too, it's too big. Yeah, because many people are facing a lot of injustices in countries abroad, not just yeah. China, many countries abroad. Yeah. And because no one does anything. The, the yeah. US, that's a superpower, is seated comfortably because they know the kind of relation they have with um, China. So certain things, they turn a blind eye. Certain things, I guess they act. You know, so, and, and, and just like the way you've just said, it's not, it's not only Muslims, it's, but I understand the topic for today is just, you know, focusing on, on the Muslim, but again, yeah, but when you look out there... Mean that it's just them that should speak out and say something yeah, against the country. You know, Other yeah. people that are seeing these injustices can stand by those people experiencing these things. Exactly. You know, or say something. If, yeah, you know, if, if you've gone through uh, oppression or some sort of racism or some sort of... Imagine being you know, taken to a concentration camp so that you can be taught their ideology or way of life. 
yeah. telling you to forget what you know, yeah. pressing Follow you to the us. extent that you can't even pray freely. Mm -hmm. And prayer does nothing for it, doesn't harm Zambia, it doesn't harm China, it doesn't harm any other country. If you see a Muslim play, I pray. Think, I think China they fear that um, you turn their country into a religious nation because China don't believe in just sitting down and praying, China believes in. You have to go there and work your ass off. So the thing is, the um, even I remember back in those days, there was this this practice that was being done by the yogis and all those kind of stuff. They stopped and they banned it. And if you're found doing it, you be uh, sentenced to uh, to uh, what, what we, I mean, you be put behind bars. You get my point. So they had to stop that because a lot of people were not going to work. A lot of people were sitting back and trying to practice that kind of, you know, uh, the way of living. And it was really good for them because they could manifest anything they want and it would just come to them. So China doesn't want that. China wants wants its, na its, its nation to grow physically, not spiritually. <laughs> I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. So, like, they want those better technology. They want all those. They want to be number one. So, for them to be number one, first of all, what do we need to do? Eliminate anything that is sort of spiritual whatever thing and let's put in physical aspect of you know whatever construction technology and all those kind of stuff i think um yeah i mean but china i don't know man china is just something else china is just something else and I, i'm thinking that something's going to happen and the chinese are going to start a war actually it's, it's happening now between china and uh, the united states and probably this is going to be something really bad that coming so i'm not um god forbid there's but there's always been tension yeah, but i don't you know. think it's going to result into a war, war. yeah uh, when you see such kind of thing this is just a movie that uh has 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 no ending and if if the villain has not won or has not gotten the opportunity to win in a movie that means that uh, we are at a good place of winning. All, all movies end with the uh, is it the antagonist winning. So uh, let's not worry that much. We just need to push uh, our right agendas and make sure that what we want is the rightful for us and other people. Do you understand? Not what the Chinese want, not what the United States want. No. What the universe wants for us, let's do it accordingly. Do you understand? Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget subscribe. to subscribe. And I'll see, and we'll see you in our next reaction video. This is.